our assignment is for Children's Hospital, they want coral, seaweed, or shells. And I want, we're going to make it into decals, or they are. So we're, and they're going to blow it up. So we want it to be kind of big so it'll look nice when it's enlarged. And I'm going to do an example. I'm going to show you how to do this, um, this coral. But you can look at your papers, see what you like. You can use your imagination on the shape for sure. And you can draw, you want it large. You don't want it to connect to the edge of the paper because you want it to be able to be, um, be put on like a giant sticker. And you, want, you don't want anything that's too skinny sticking off of it because if that's made into a sticker, it will um, be easier to peel off. So even though these parts are skinny, they're gonna kinda go around in a circle. So the sticker can go around it like that. But if one piece was really long and the others were over here, that would not work. Okay, so I have my coral done and they do want your initials hidden in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a spot for my initials. You could do cursive um, or, you know, you could do a different kind of lettering style if you want. That's not really hidden, it stands out. So in order to hide that, I'm gonna add some things. I could do these polka dots like this artist did or I could um, choose to do some others. I think I will just do some geometric marks that do kind of, they do kind of look like an L. So that's gonna kind of hide it. That's gonna be a little tricky. And I'm just gonna fill this whole thing with these to kind of hide that in there. You definitely don't have to get this crazy with the Sharpie, but I think somebody's really gonna have to be able to hunt for my initial. And it's, so it's part artwork, part game. And then at this point, we're gonna watercolor it. And we're gonna choose from colors that match the artwork of the artist who's done the fish. For the next one, I'm gonna do a shell and I'm going to make it fill the space. I'm gonna do a simple one. And I think I'm just gonna pick this guy and I'm gonna add some of those lines. And then for a seaweed, I'm gonna do something like one of these. Um, make sure that it has its own self-contained base. So if you have a clump of seaweed, just have it growing from a base. I feel like the Sharpie's dying a little bit. You wanna have a really nice Sharpie. So I need to put my initials somewhere in all of them. And it doesn't, it, it needs to be legible. You don't want it hidden so hard that you, were, you can't tell. This one is hidden the most, but you can still clearly tell that it's an A and an L. When it comes time to paint, um, I have some colors here that match the color palette of the artist that is being used in the other fishes. Um, so you can use this, but don't use all of this. Pick two or three colors. I would suggest um, orange, brown, or yellow, one of those three, or maybe um, blue, green, or yellow, but maybe two of the three look good together. You can also use these. Um, just, I wouldn't go for purple. I didn't see any purple at all in the artwork. Um, or red, really, but you could maybe get away with a little red. You want to paint with one or two colors, but... And you want to try to stay in your lines. That's going to make that a lot easier for them when they're scanning in the artwork. Remember, it is going to be a sticker, so you don't want paint coming out. You can vary the shade of your paint with this one orange just by dipping it in and adding more water and spreading it around. So I can try to get it lighter on this side by adding more water. And then if that's, n it's not a huge difference. I kind of wanted a bigger difference, but um, I can let this dry and add a second layer of orange if I want. 
and then if you're getting yellow at all make sure you just really carefully wash your brush because the yellow it's so light of a color that it will just get ruined really quickly For this one, I wanted to mix yellow and green, but because I can't do it in the palette, I'm just mixing it on the paper by putting the yellow down first and then putting the green straight over that. For the seashell, I want the stripes to be a darker blue, so I'm painting that first and then going back in with a watered down brush to spread out the blue. And then I'm using a third color, which is white, by leaving that unpainted. 